This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with a, a rescue case. It is a Biomet 3i. Um, we don't know if it's a Prevail Biomet yet. We're going to contact the local rep for that. We put a call into him and we should be able to obtain more information. Basically what we're looking at is is a screw retained crown, a one piece with the screw still within the crown and of course there's some composite above it. There is a, <coughs> excuse me, a fractured portion, a fragment, if you will, <coughs> of the um, screw itself. And so we're going to look inside now. This, the periodontist uh, did make access and was able to expose the the portion in the mouth. I want you to roll toward me, please. And and there was prior access and prior attempts to remove a tissue extension. Um, which was uh, incorporated with the case. I'll need some retraction here with a uh, small mirror or, yeah, like that. And uh, now we're going to use uh, just some, some little bit of air here and get out some of the food particles that are in there. Hold on to that. Let me see what that is. Okay. That's all that is. All right. So... What we were dealing with is uh, an external hex extender. As I stated earlier, there was prior access, prior uh, manipulation in there with a the hemostat. Uh, I'll need a micro suction. All right. We're going to use microsuction now and go inside and see what we can just remove some of the fluids. Okay. Very good. And if we look all the way down inside air on the mirror. There is definitely a bottom. It just looks like a bottom, but I do see a fractured thread. That's interesting. So I'm trying to look down and see if we can count threads. And I don't see... I see just basically a smooth surface all the way down. It's a very smooth surface. And um, I'm looking for threads. Now I'm going to take time now to look at the upper component. It is blue, c I repeat, blue color coded. And there is a, a nick internally. Uh, I would say just on the inside of this silver extension piece and I will take some photographs of that so that we have them to show the rep. Now I'm just going to take a small explorer and just gently move the gum tissue a little bit aside so we can examine that. Are you okay? So I'm moving that aside. Okay, so if I were to measure the extender with a millimeter periodontal probe I'm looking at about five millimeters in length just about five to be exact the threads the threads are not visual oh, gotta ask why is that and I do see almost like if you look straight down internally you can see the top of maybe where the topography of where the screw is fractured so that is the exact top of the fractured screw it's interesting to see that and I can almost start to count threads on the x-ray but I could not see that So. 
the more pictures we take, the more video, the more educated we're going to get about what, what's going on here. Um, if I were to measure the length internally, which will help us, well, we know it's color code blue. So uh, this probes down to the fracture. Try to read that. That looks like we're right at. 3, 6, 9, 12, about 12 millimeters in depth. So we'll, th we'll say that we've got about 5 going down at the top, and then you'd get another 12. Excuse me, no, a 5 minus the, the, the 12. You got 7 millimeter length on until you, there's a fracture from the top of the, of the fixture itself. Okay. So perhaps maybe they were grabbing part of the fixture when they were turning and trying to remove the upper portion. Um, I could pre-soak this a little bit, but I, um, you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pre-soak it. Um, you know what? I think maybe it would be best. I'm just going to ask my patient something, so why don't I click out of this and we'll come back on the next segment.